And starting today, 22 attorneys, three investigators, and weekend clerical staff all at the 36th District Court are off the job because of cuts in Wayne County. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn explains why the prosecutor and judges are so concerned that this ripple effect could mean more criminals out on our streets. 8,000 people a day come through these doors, but for some, now, justice is not being served. We can't operate like this. This is not... I've never seen anything like this in my life. 36th District Court is the largest in the state and one of the two or three largest in the country. Today, a number of cases were adjourned or dismissed because prosecutors were absent from the courtroom. When I spoke to Ms. Worthy, she indicated that um, it's not because she chooses to or that she's trying to play politics or anything, but she needs the prosecutors that she has to man the trial courtrooms in circuit court. So we are less of a priority. Um, I can't make you feel good. No, because that's my biggest and only priority, is to make sure that justice is dispensed appropriately here in this courthouse. Kenneth King is the chief judge. The operation of his court is being impacted by county forced layoffs in the prosecutor's office. 22 contract attorneys were out of a job as of last Friday, along with three other contract employees. King is caught in the middle and clearly frustrated. If you're going to tell me that you're not going to prosecute crimes like uh, possession of illegal narcotics, um, driving on suspended license, operating while intoxicated. If you're not going to prosecute those kind of cases, who's going to want to stay here? There was no coverage by prosecutors of the traffic court docket today, and the judge tells me that's six to eight courtrooms. In Detroit, Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. The prosecutor, Kim Worthy, is specifically concerned about the backlog of warrants out for serious crimes where the defendant is not in custody. County prosecutors say there is a backlog of 58 homicide warrants, 62 warrants for sexual assaults, and 108 counts of child physical and sexual abuse.